4 series comes in 4 and 6 channel models. It can be configured with 5 different bandwidths, from 200 MHz to 1.5 GHz. You can buy the bandwidth you need today and upgrade it later. Standard record length starts at 31.25 million points and is upgradable to 62.5 million points. And the sample rate on all models goes up to 6.25 gigasamples per second. And this number doesn't drop as you turn on channels. More than 100 different trigger combinations are available from basic edge triggers to much more advanced triggers. Let's use a pulse width trigger to stabilize this I2C clock. Now let's change the display to stacked mode. Each waveform is visually separated from the others, yet it's still able to use the full range of the 12-bit A to D. There's a little bit of harmless crosstalk on this board. Let's take a closer look. In high-res mode, the vertical resolution is boosted from 12 bits to up to 16 bits. This takes advantage of oversampling and advanced filtering, so you can see even more detail. The 4 Series is great for making measurements. I'll start with the cursors. You can move the cursors using the touchscreen or the front panel controls. If I want to make an automated measurement, I just drag and drop. I'll add a few measurements to channel one. Amplitude, peak to peak voltage, and the period. Each measurement includes statistics to help you get a handle on long-term variation. The badge shows min, max, and standard deviation. Results tables provide even more insight into measurements and their variation. It provides statistics for the current acquisition and accumulated statistics on all measurements made over all acquisitions. I can also look at the measurements behavior as a plot. The measurement trend shows values for the measurement. In this case, the period as it varies through the burst. You can also look at a histogram of the measurement to see if there are any other values that happen more often than others.